Hey y'all, it's me, Hetty, and I'm here to tell you this soup, if you ever try it this way, you will never want to try it any other way. It's a slower soup to make, but well worth it. And I hope you're going to join me and follow me step by step. So let's make it. All right, everybody. I'm trying to cook for y'all. I'm still tired. I've done a lot of chopping. It's worn me out, I got to tell you. But I'm just going to show you how I just make vegetable beef soup. And I've never broken this pan in, so this meat might stick just a little bit. That's why I'm giving a little extra dose of oil. I'm trying to break this pan in. I've only used it one other time. But I think it'll be perfect for this soup. Alright, so I'm just letting my grease get hot. Guess I'll test the onion. We'll see. I don't have enough in there. I'm 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 working around on the tripod so I can't see the oil like I normally would. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to go pretty good. So I'm gonna pull him back out. Alright. Of course my recipes are always down below. And if you like this video, I would certainly appreciate a comment and a like. What I have here, I'm making a double batch. That's why I'm using this huge pan. Because we like to eat on soup for a couple of days. So what I have here is about three and a quarter pounds of stew meat. I probably should do this in batches. Hold on, I'm going to take some back There up. we go. I just don't want this in a huge pile. I, I want this meat to be able to brown well. So as you can see, it's a little bit of oil. I, I just trimmed my... I had one package of stew meat and one package of... Uh, I can't remember what it was. Anyway, they were both fairly lean, but they did have uh, some fat on there. You can use a chuck roast. Whatever kind of meat you like is what you're going to use here. But of course, I've got this on high. I'm going to sear this meat off, okay? So I'll bring you back when we start getting some color on some extra sides. Remember, like I said, you can use whatever cut of beef that you prefer. I've even used linen broil. But the reason I added the oil is because this is not fatty meat at all. You can cut up a chuck roast, just like I said, whatever kind of meat you use for dishes and things like that. You want a fairly good cut. All right, I'll bring y'all back when we're getting a good sear on here. All right, y'all hear this? When I stir these up and get ready to take them out, I'll show you what I like them to look at, look like. You may have noticed I did not salt or pepper yet. I also did not toss them in flour. Just vegetable beef soup. Meant to be thin. Alright, I'll bring you back. Alright guys, for soup, this is kind of where I want it. So I'm going to take these up and look, look at all that. Of course, I'm breaking this pan in. I'm really happy about that. That's that fond on the bottom. That's going to add flavor to the soup. Alright, I'm going to take these up. I'm going to do the second batch. After I've done that, that's when I'll bring you back. We'll go to the next step through this second batch in but I just want to tell you don't be tempted to skip this step it adds so much flavor to the soup so I know sometimes it's tempting if you're on a time crunch but just plan ahead and I strongly suggest to not skip this step alrighty I added a couple of maybe teaspoons more of oil and now that's all that beautiful fond on the bottom get all these onions out of here now I'm starting next with a it's a mirepoix basically working around tripod y'all it's awkward I'm working around tripod of course let's get them going I always give my onions a head start so I'm gonna cook these off this is just a quick saute. We're not trying to cook them through. Just trying to get them maybe sweat a little bit. And then my mirepoix, it's going to be carrots and celery. And that'll go in next after I'm satisfied with these onions. Which I'm not going to... And see, look at that pond already coming loose right there. See that? Gorgeous flavor. These are... Ooh, wish I could smell this. This is good. I'm going to let these go. And so I can edit down on time. I'll just bring it back when we're ready. I uh, gave these about, I don't know, 
four or five minute head start and now in go my carrots okay we're gonna give this a good stir and we're gonna let this go probably about another five minutes and then we'll finish building the soup I do have some uh, baby spinach that I am gonna add toward the end just a little bit and also some fresh green beans and of course I have uh, here, I'll show you all this now I've got potatoes I've already diced up hope y'all can see that I'm trying to I'm too short to see the camera good okay there you go you get the idea look I like to cut them into good bite-sized piece about like that also uh, it's shrunk just a little bit but I also had it as close to about an inch but you do you all right when these have been going for about another five minutes I'll bring you back we'll start building the soup alrighty I'm happy with this as you can see it's been about I don't know five ish minutes five or six minutes no no more than six I know all right meats going in now meat goes back in I accumulated maybe a quarter cup of juice from all that meat just sitting in that bowl we'll give this a nice stir this is going to be the basis of our soup you add what vegetables you like I'm having green beans corn and of course the potatoes I showed you earlier all right, so we've mixed this up, and I'm simply coming in. When you do it this way, you don't need beef broth. Of course, you're welcome to use the beef broth, but there's really no need when you do it this way. All right, what's going to happen now is I'm going to bring this up to a simmer, and I've got the lid somewhere, if I don't knock the camera over. <laughs> I've got the lid to this pan. But right now, I'm bringing it up to a boil first. When it comes up to a boil, I'll bring you back. Then I'll show you what we need. Come up to a nice boil. I'll let it go for about a minute. And now I'm going to cut it down. Way down. To about medium so I can get my simmer right. And now I'm going to get ready to add all my seasonings. So let me get this down to the right simmer. And then I'm going to come in and we'll add the seasonings. Here we go. I've got it. This is a fast simmer. I'm actually going to cut this down just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. After it gets where I want it, I will show you, but we're going to talk about the spices now. Now, this is your soup. You can make it. Make it how you want. If there's something you don't want in there, leave it out. Uh, you put whatever vegetables you want. I don't put, I stagger my vegetables. The potatoes and the green beans go in, say, the last half hour. I'm letting this simmer like just like this for a while. Now, I'm going to show you what I have here, and yes, it's messy. I have a couple of teaspoons of salt to start with. have a little bit of garlic powder. Uh, I don't have any fresh garlic, or I'd throw fresh garlic in there. I've got about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and somewhere under here, <laughs> yeah, I've got, oh, I don't know, about a half a teaspoon of pepper to start with. I adjust it after it's cooked for a while. You just have to taste that broth and see what you want to add. But I like to put Italian seasoning in mine. It really just adds a lot to it. Okay. I stirred this down. I'm going to wait and see where this simmer is. And when I show you that, I'll show you what you're looking for. If you're new to cooking, if you've been cooking for years, you know what a simmer is. But I always try to share with y'all in case someone hadn't made this before. After I get to the simmer, I won't. I'm going to put that lid on there, and I'm walking off for about half an hour. Okay, when that simmer comes back up to where I want it, I'll bring you right back. Alrighty, I hope the steam isn't getting in your way. And this little area right here, that's just my light shining into the pot. But look, we're concentrating on those bubbles. And that's what you're looking for, just a slow simmer. And sorry for the shaky camera work because I'm holding the camera and on goes the lid. And that's it, folks. Walking off. I'll see you in about 30 minutes. My time. <laughs> and your time will be a few seconds, won't it? Okay. Now, it's been about in between 25 and 30 minutes. And what I did was I came in. I've tasted I'm definitely going to have to add some more salt and maybe a little more Italian seasoning. Uh, all of the above. I always just start off with what I showed you. And, you know, 
the recipe is always below. Remember, I'm making a double batch. So you may want to cut this recipe in half. I'm probably going to even add some more water after I get some of these vegetables in. All right, so I cut this heat up just a bit. Why? Because now goes in. These are frozen this time. You can use canned vegetables, y'all. You don't have to use this. I'm using what I have. We've got some frozen corn here and peas. Go and give them a good stir. I'm going to bring this back up to heat just for a minute and then cut it back down. That'll help those vegetables just a little bit. And then, of course, I've got my green beans. I've got my potatoes. I'm going to throw my green beans in next. And then my potatoes will go in last. And then we're just going to, and then I'll check on my water situation and I'll check for flavor. And, you know, if you want to, you can adjust. And like I said, you can use beef stock. And I thought I had some in the freezer, and I definitely would have added it to this. But I used it. I think I used it when I made beef tips last time. So, anyway, that's all I'm doing. I'm going to bring this back up for just a minute. Then we're going to cut it right back down. That'll help these vegetables along. That's looking gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm going to eat crusty bread with it. Sometimes we eat garlic bread with it. So in a little bit. I'll bring you back when I'm doing the next add-in. Okay, as you can see, I've brought it back up to heat. I'm adding in one can. I believe this is, uh, yeah, 14 and a half ounces. You don't have to be exact. You can add a fat can of 29 ounces if you want to. But I always just throw in that little old can right there. Tastes yum, yum, yummy. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in my green beans. While my temp is still coming up, I'm going to give this about, I don't know, 8 to 10 minutes. I'm going to come in and put my potatoes in. Then I'll adjust my water and seasonings if I need to. And I, I did, like I said, I, I, I know it's going to need more salt and probably some more garlic powder. And probably just all of it. A little more pepper, a little more Italian seasoning. But like I said, it's your soup. You're going to season it the way you want. But I'm telling you, if you've never tried it with Italian seasoning, that's what you want to do. I used to do everything separately, but that's silly when I realized <laughs> I make my own Italian seasoning, so you know you know what goes in it, and that's when I just started using uh, Italian seasoning. Uh, things I'm talking about, I will put some links below, and throughout the video I'll put some links. I'll put some links to my uh, beef stew. I'll put some links in how I make my Italian seasoning. And probably a couple others. Uh, I can't think right now. I'll, I'll think of them again in editing, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm going to let this go. We'll come back when it's ready to add the other vegetables. Oh, and by the way, at the end, this is just some quick barley. I'm going to add in some quick barley for that last 10 to 15 minutes. And that's it. That's how I make mine. And, and all these vegetables, you put in what you like. They're all optional. I'm simply showing you the way we like it, the way I grew up eating it my mama this is my mama's recipe and then later my daddy made it too he made her recipe and gosh i can't tell you how many years i've been making this recipe helping and then made it for my children and husband as well so there you go all right i'm gonna cut this down put the lid on um, and then we'll come back okie dokie i added in about two or three cups more of water and now i've drained my potatoes and they're going in last and i'm gonna go ahead and just throw in my cup of barley as well. And the soup's done when it's done. When the vegetables are all done, soup's done. You get your head start with the meat, you sear it, and then when we cook it for that first 30 minutes, you know, that's all the flavors are melding, the meat's cooking through, but not so fast that you don't want to boil it because you don't want tough meat. You want your meat to be tender. Now look at this, y'all. It's not even ready yet. Look at, ooh, that's gorgeous. Of course, I'll ser serve it up with a soup ladle. I'm just using this because this is what I used it to stir with earlier. Got my wooden spoon over here. I should be using it, I guess. So there you go. Lid's going back on. And I'll bring you back with an approximate time. Remember, I'm doing a double batch. And 
my time might be a little different than yours. If you're doing a half batch, of course, yours will get done uh, sooner as opposed to this huge pot. This is a big pot. I forgot what size it is. It's pretty big. Okay, y'all. I'm going to regulate this temperature and get it back to where that simmer where I showed you earlier. And, you know, I started this after I took my beef up and I put uh, onion, celery, and carrots. That's what's known as mirepoix. The Holy Trinity, and I'll put a, a link up in here. Uh, Y'all know I'm from Louisiana, and the Holy what's referred to as the Holy Trinity, that's what I heard it called growing up, uh, is bell pepper, onions, and celery. And that's such a base for a lot of uh, Louisiana cooking for sure. So anyway, I grew up with that too, and I'll put a link somewhere for that video. I hope I can remember all these links I'm going to put up in here. I'll try to remember to put them down below or up in the top corner here. And y'all, don't forget, hit that like, comment. Where do y'all live? What state are you from? I'm in Georgia. I'm born and raised Louisiana, but I live in Georgia. So comment below. Tell me. I, I love to know where y'all watching me from. What country? What state? Where are you? I'd love to know. So just do that. Let me know. <laughs> All right. I'll see you when this is done. Would you look at that? I just cut the fire out. Everything's done beautifully. Look at that. You adjust the water to your liking. Just make sure uh, if you're going to adjust it, you adjust your seasonings too because you don't want it to turn bland because you added too much water. But when you do that step with that beef in the beginning and then do your mirepoix and then build the soup that way, you've got a lot of flavor in there. And again, you can use beef stock if you want to. But let me make you a bowl up here. Get a little bit of everything. Oops, I'm making a mess, aren't I? Then I like to go back in and get more of the broth. There, I cleaned the plate up for you. Get you some nice crusty bread right there. That, folks, is some good eating with a little dessert later. I'm glad y'all joined me. Thank you. I'm moving slow, but I'm getting there. I hope you'll try this and make it. Vegetable beef soup. Love y'all, and I'll see you next time.